Hello everybody, and we're about to continue our Let's Play series of Dark Souls Remastered. In our last video, we defeated the Gaping Dragon, and now we are about to head on over to Blight Town. We have also switched back over our outfit set to the Hollow Thief's Leather Armor. I just think it looks kind of cool. While the defense isn't great, I think it's a decent look. Okay, so we do have a, a lot of souls. So we're going to want to use those up. Before we head over to Blight Town. I feel like I get lost here every single time. There we go. Always get turned around after Gaping Dragon. Okay, we do need more attunement soon. We do need more dexterity. Okay, the weapon we're going to be trying to use is actually the Iaito, which is a katana that we're actually going to be finding within Blight Town. And I believe we need 20 dexterity in order to use it. So we are still too short. And so the descent begins. It is a cool um, feeling how in this game you just keep getting lower and lower and lower. And then in the other aspects you rise way above. So it's like such a, a juxtaposition between how you can be in areas that are near the sky and areas that are essentially in hell. Okay, so when we're going to want to do is there is a yeah these guys are always kind of a little annoying maybe we're lucky he'll just fall right off couple more of those big beefy dudes and
tend to just get dunk pies from them, which I've never used, but you can throw them at enemies and they build up toxicity levels, but so can you while using them. Backstabs also work very well against these enemies. In addition to the big beefy guys, there are like cannibalistic natives that are trying to find you, as well as enemies that shoot toxin arrow toxis toxin arrows at you. I think that's the right word we want to use. And there's one right over there, off in the distance. Where the bow and arrow in these games. Okay, here we go. I think he's right over here. fell right off. There we go. Okay, we killed one of them. They do not respawn, so that is something to be mindful of. So once you kill one of those guys that shoot the toxin arrows at you, you are okay. We do have uh, quite a bit of natives to take out, or blight town dwellers, whatever we want to call them. Take them down one at a time, there's no need to rush through it. Okay, so we got two more down there that are going to be coming back up. some more. Platforms can move on you, just so that you are aware of that. Almost looks like they're hitting you with, like, parts of a body. Ok, 
I think we got most of them, but let's take a quick, a quick look. Okay, so we have a big jumping part coming up to get the Iaito, so we have to always remember how to jump. Okay. What I want to do is remove our items, because then we are a little lighter. to jump right over there. It's probably one of the hardest parts of the game for me. Jumping is always fun in Dark Souls. Okay. Here we go. And we did get it. Awesome. Okay, we got the Iaito. This is the kind of setup that we had before. Okay, now we're just going to go down. And I advise just hitting the bonfire right away. Seeing as we have three humanities and we're in human form at the moment, and there's a chance we're probably going to experience a death or two in this area, I'm just going to kindle this flame, rather than lose the humanities if we do die. By no means do you have to do that, though. Okay. We did pick up our weapon that we will be using once we have the proper levels. Katana forged in an eastern land. The katana is drawn from the scabbard at lightning speed using an iaijutsu ii technique. Iaijutsu allows the wielder to charge forward to swift and cut down distant bows. Okay, we're just a little short on dexterity. Unless, let's take a quick look here. How many soul items do we have? Yeah, we're probably a little short. I think we need... About almost 8,000 per level. Yeah. A little short. Okay. Let's keep exploring Blight Town. And see what we can find. Oh. Already seeing some enemies. Also see that there are doggies, and I believe they can throw fire. Okay, so take your time here. Just be 
be very careful. And then purple moss clump. Okay, we'll probably want to put that on our inventory. Just because if we do need to reduce toxin, that is what we're going to be using. That way is not going to go well for me. I'm going to take the upper. The upper path. Now there are two ways to get down into Blight Town, like the lower area down there. This is one way, where we go through the entire little cliffside village of sorts. And then there's also the easier way. I think it's always fun to take the hard way. Okay, might as well just refresh everything. And we're gonna be going this way next. It's... a lot of people have a... they don't really like the area. I kind of find it somewhat interesting. Already getting arrow shot at us. There's one. They're not gonna turn. Come on, there we go. and arrows again. Oh my goodness. Oh, and he fell right off there. <laughs> Gotta love a panic roll. That's okay. It's kind of expected in Blight Town. Rarely do you get to escape unscathed.
Okay, we'll just kind of go back to where we were. Last time. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we're just gonna keep on going. Got through that little snag right there. Missing the spot to get down there. Oh. I wonder if we can drop down right here. If that will go badly for us. Hmm. I feel like it's gonna go badly. Let's just take the ladder. But, oh, I bet you we're missing that pyromancy though. Is it up here? It's behind that big slug thing. I feel like it might be up here. This thing right there. how to get over there. I feel like it's somewhere where we were though. Just start going down and work our way through. I believe that the, the um, pyromancy that you get is a 
power within, which is not something I tend to use ever. here. I feel like that's just a lot of bad news. There's another one of our toxin friends. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, we'll let our meter run down a little bit. There we go, there's our toxic. Now we might as well just take them out. Okay, I'm gonna keep continuing down. set and the falchion cool take a look at those item descriptions oh let's take a look later i think there are mosquitoes approaching us there we go always mosquitoes and swamps doing is to first establish your bonfire in the tunnel right over here because you're definitely not going to want to keep going up back through that area if you were to die fighting the let's just call them giant firebugs okay we can level up again we're almost there to dexterity one more level Okay, let's take a quick look at those items that we picked up. The Wanderer Coat. Coat of an aimless traveler, made from sturdy leather and quilting. Battle comes with the territory when one wanders the land, and this coat provides a certain degree of protection. And then we also picked up the Felchin. 
another weapon we might actually end up using. Small curved sword, each hit inflicts a little damage, but fluid chain attacks are deadly. The falchion's sharp slashing attacks are effective against cloth and flesh, but not against metal, armor, or tough scales. And I don't think you get bleed on that. You do get bleed on the Yaito, though. Okay, let's just take a look at the Wanderer set, see if it's something we'd want to switch to. It's not too shabby. But I... I still like the thief outfit. With the black leather boots. I think that's just a, a fun look for now. Okay, we're gonna reverse our hollowing real quick. And we're also... We don't need to worry about kindling this fire, but there is an NPC that we're going to want to look at. Or a phantom, I should say. Should show up right around here. say she shows up somewhere around here. And not, oh, there we go. Dark Spirit Maneater Mildred. Okay, here we go. as well as the Butcher Knife, which is a really cool weapon. I believe it is strength-based, so we will likely not be using it in this playthrough. But it is pretty cool. Giant Butcher Knife wielded by the undead man-eating cook lurking in the depths. More of a tool for subduing and preparing live catches than actual weapon. Those who have faced this deadly blade have a deeper sense of... Oh. Always interrupting me. We're just gonna rest up here. And I think this is a good stopping point for now. I would like to thank all of you for tuning in. And when we go in our next episode, we're actually gonna be exploring Lower Blight Town and then taking on a fun new boss. I'd like to thank all of you for tuning in, and we will talk again real soon.